Yes. <coughs> Good afternoon, my dear friends, my dear students, ladies and gentlemen, and my brother, brothers and sisters. Online education. Now it is already two thirty. So how I will ask some questions. Same using with did. What day you woke up today? Sir, today I woke up at six thirty. All usual questions to ask every day. Did you, what did you have? When did you have? Sir, today I had chapati or idli with sambar or dosa with chutney. Sir, I didn't have. If you say I had, I will ask you one more question. When I had <coughs> nine o'clock, like that you can say. Coming to afternoon, same question. I am replacing lunch in place of breakfast. I ask, did you have your lunch? Yes, sir, I had. What did you have? I had rice with sambar, rice with rasam, or I had lemon rice. I had vegetable biryani. I had palau, or I had mutton biryani, or I had chicken biryani. Whatever it is, otherwise you can say, I had curd rice today. Something like that. So if it is pending, you will say, sir, I didn't have it. I have to have. Coming to yes, how was your day yesterday? How was your day yesterday? Yesterday it was very good, sir. It was very good. I didn't go out anywhere. I was at home. I was at home sitting and enjoying watching TV like that. Let's say. Coming to on Saturday, what special was on Saturday, sir? Saturday was Ganesh Chaturthi. What was on Friday? Friday was Gauri, so it was a Gauri festival. So they will ask you a question. <coughs> did you celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi or did you celebrate Ganesha festival? Like that, I can ask. So this is after the festival. I will ask. Then you would say, I celebrated. No, sir, we didn't celebrate. Yes, sir, we celebrated. No, sir. We didn't celebrate like that. You can say. So, general question I ask. Question do and does can be asked at any time. Do you celebrate Chaturthi? Yes, sir. We do celebrate or we celebrate. Otherwise, if you are not celebrating, you have to say we don't celebrate. When it comes to do they celebrate? You can be a singular person or you can be both. You can be both. So, if I am asking a singular person, do you celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi? Yes, you will say, yes sir, we celebrate. If you are asking for a group also, you will say, we celebrate. Now, I am asking, if do they celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi? I am asking to a certain group. They will say, yes sir, they celebrate. So, they don't celebrate. So, I, you, we, they celebrate, don't also celebrate. I get what you say. When it comes to this, slight change is there. Does he celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi? Does he celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi? Does Ramesh celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi? The answer can be yes, he celebrates. Yes, she celebrates. Yes, Ramesh celebrates. If they don't celebrate, how they will say? No, he doesn't celebrate. When does is there, the negative also will be doesn't. If it is do, the negative also will be don't. It's yes, she celebrates. Yes, Ramesh celebrates. If the answer is in negative form, no, he doesn't celebrate. No, she doesn't celebrate. No, Ram Ramesh doesn't celebrate. Like, like that you have to say. This do and does, you can ask many times, but still I keep on repeating so that you would remember nicely. Do you eat non veg? Yes, I eat. No, I don't eat. A general question. The, does he eat non veg? Yes, he eats. No, he doesn't eat. Does she eat non veg? Yes, she eats. No, she doesn't eat. Doesn't eat. Does Ramesh eat non veg? Yes, Ramesh eats. No, Ramesh doesn't eat. So, for example, this is about the general question. I am asking about yesterday. I am asking about the past. Did you eat 
non veg yesterday no sir we didn't eat because we had kept ganesha at home so we didn't eat so didn't means it is always temporary that means you have a habit of eating if you have eaten did you eat non veg yesterday yes sir i ate negative no sir i didn't eat like that you have to say so did you can ask the question after the festival or about the past but do and do and does you have to ask only in the present form the question can be asked any time but coming to i've been telling you about some <coughs> meanings vocabulary on friday today i will tell you about the retirement for this professions so for example position is different from profession position means manager cashier who works in a private company or in a government industry or in a government company or in government office state government office deputy collector deputy commissioner police inspector sub inspector sub inspector head clerk head constable captain in in navy captain in military captain lieutenant major brigadier <coughs> something like that havaldar subedar subedar major like that many positions are there or manager senior manager deputy divisional manager deputy general manager manager and all so in most of the companies in private companies as well as in government offices there is a position there is a designation for those all those people will have a retirement age some companies some government and state government offices the retirement age is 60 even in military also the retirement age is 60 private companies may be 60 or if your services is very very good and if your services is very much required they may keep you up till 62 or 63 or 65 depending upon your age depending upon your health condition depending upon your work so when they miss you so it will be a great loss for the company so they do not want to send you out they do not want to quit the job they will make you to they do not want you to retire or something like that they want to continue in the job for some more days it not depend depending upon the service so in private companies in public sector companies in private sector companies in state government in central government in in railways in defense in air force and military there is a retirement for most of the people in whatever position they are there will be retirement when it comes to profession like this and in some professions on the board for these people there is no retirement even after coming home also they can work they can sit at home and work or they can work in private industries also unless and until their health is in good condition so it is not a something like that after 50 years no you have to sit at home you should not go to work personally no such kind of condition office they are given a retirement as the age for retirement age because others have to get an opportunity otherwise if you keep on continue till you die the others will not get an opportunity the elder generation will not get an opportunity to work so here what happens is unemployment problem may go as it is unemployment problem is more in india most of the people are unemployed because of this covid also nearly they say i read in the newspaper that day more than 40 to 50 crore people half of the population is unemployed half of the population is unemployed in india it will take some time i don't know how they survive at least to live to pay rent at least to have food they should have money in what way they are living their life nobody knows nobody knows so the days are very very difficult it will take another one year or two years to come back to the original level okay. whatever it is now coming to professions profession means for example i written some of the examples <coughs> there are a lot of profession but some examples are written here here accountant accountant means a person who looks after books of accounts books of account he maintains books of account something like tally balance sheet profit and loss many things are there so he can work any time so he has that knowledge he has that knowledge for that there is no retirement account like they say so he is an accountant so coming to artist okay artist artist 
an artist is a person who knows to paint and draw pictures so he need not have to go to the office he can sit at home and earn money sell the he can sell it at a price if he has drawn any pictures or paintings he can sell it at a price people are there to buy from so coming to one more artist a r t i s t e this artist is something like actor singer dancer a person who knows how to play musical instrument like guitar violin piano tabla keyboard trumpet mouth organ many things are there so those people are called artist you are adding e after t a actor can be a male or a female amita bachchan is an actor aishwarya rai is an actress no they have removed that name actress no actor has become a common gender either for a male or a female you can see actor okay coming to actor it is actor means is a male it can be a male or a female he is an actor she is an actor akshay kumar is an actor deepika padukone is an actor priyanka priyanka chopra is an actor abhishek bachchan is an actor ishwari rai is an actor you can see so actor is a common gender when it comes to artist it includes all actor singer dancer <coughs> the person who plays the music now coming to auditor auditor is a person who looks your books of account who knows how the books and accounts are maintained a auditor mostly he will be a chartered accountant chartered accountant means ca he should have done that course so there is no retirement for an auditor he can open a shop or he can sit at home and he can perform his duty there is no retirement for an auditor because he has the knowledge okay he can work for a private company he can work for any individual person also who is doing business so he can sit at home and do that work so he is called a professional he is called a professional for him there is no requirement now coming to architect architect is a person who gives a design to a building who design how your building should be how your house should be how your hospital should be how your office should be isn't it how a what is called that wedding chowtry or a marriage wedding reception hall would be everything he gives a model how it should be so how it should be means the person who wants to construct a building a person who wants to construct a house or a chowtry or a hospital or a school or any business or an apartment or any business building anything like that so he will give a design he will say it should be like this it should be like that so architect we give a design so after the completion of your house after the completion of your shop after the completion completion of your business establishment after the completion of this it will look like this ye ilaga telustundi ne mata it will look like this <clears throat> so he will write a design he will form a design and how where the kitchen should be where the room should be where the bedroom should be <clears throat> how the interior decoration should be how the exterior decoration should be how your building will look before the construction will be he will give a picture he will give a photo so he is called an architect he need not have to go to the office and work he can work from home writes books a person who writes stories a person who writes poems or a person who writes some journals or magazines something like that you know he is called an author for him also he he not have to go to some office he can sit at home and do it also no problem or he can open his own office and he can do it so he is also called a professional coming to advocate advocate is also a lawyer what is the difference between a lawyer and an advocate a lawyer means that means he is still studying or he has completed his studies advocate means he practices in the court of law so he prepares legal documents for his clients and he goes to the court he goes to the court and argues in the court he practices in the court of law whereas a lawyer he should undergo a training under a senior advocate to practice in the court of law so it is like that sorry court of law <coughs> so a lawyer 
prepares legal documents and other formalities, putting it in a stamp paper and supplies to his clients. So all these people who help the people, all these people, all these people, takes a services, who avails a services from these people are called professional. For these people, there is no retirement. So they can work as long as they are alive at the same time as long they are healthy. Okay, excuse me. Yeah, it is like that. Sorry. Now, coming to advocate, I told you. So, the person who practices in the court of law, as long as he is healthy, there is no age limit for the advocate to practice. So, he is called a professional. So, coming to attorney, attorney is also a lawyer. Attorney general, they say, he is a government lawyer. So, he also practices in the court of law. He is nothing but lawyer. So, a special name is given to him is as attorney. Now, coming to a banker, a banker is a person. A banker means a banker is a person who lent, who gives and takes money. So, he is a private person. He is not, he is not a bank employee. A banker is one, maybe individual or a group of people who avails a permission from the finance ministry or from the bank or from the Reserve Bank of India to do banking business similar to banking. They will So he is called a banker in a private way. He can open his own office and he can do it provided the finance minister or the RB has given permission. Now coming to baker. Baker means a person who makes bread. But a person who makes bread bun or something like mutton cups in a bakery he is called a baker he is not called a cook he is called a baker now coming to barrister barrister at law they say barrister is <coughs> a senior most advocate he practices in the court of law to do barrister at law one has to go to England after LLM the degree for law is LLB LLB means bachelor of law after Bachelor of Law, he has to do LLM for two years, that is Master of Law. After a Master of Law, that is a specialization. So still advanced in law. The barrister at law means you have to go to England. It is advanced study in law. So that you can come here and you can practice in the court of law. These people will practice only in Supreme Court or High Court, not in the lower court. Okay. Similarly, like that, another two courses in your MBBS, you have to do MB. And you can do FRCP. MBBS, the expansion of MBBS is Bachelor of Medicine, Bachelor of Surgery. MD means Doctor of Medicine. Coming to FRCP, Fellow of Royal College of Physicians. It is only in England. And one more course is there, FRCS. FRCS means Fellow of Royal College of Surgeons. After doing MBBS, you have to do MS. Is in India you can do or in Bangalore also you can do MS means Master of Surgery. Master of Surgery, you will be eligible to do a FRCS, Fellow of Royal College of Surgery. So Fellow of Royal College of Sorry Surgeons. It is only in England. Three courses are there only in England. It is nowhere in the world. One is Barrister Law, FRCP, and FRCS. So, so that is about the <coughs> professional. Barrister also, there is no age limit for him as long as he is healthy, he can practice in the court of law. Now coming to cardiologist. 
So doctors have got a very big list. <coughs> like a doctor. When it comes to doctor, it the doctors have got a very big you want to shape this body. There is no one person. There are many persons. Many you need you need many experts for this. So if you happen to go to a car mechanic, you can do it. If you happen to go to a fridge, he will do one person is enough to repair the fridge. If you happen to go to a washing machine or a printing machine, or only one person is enough to take care and repair and get set right the machine. So if you want to take care of the human body, there are many people, not one. There are many. There are many. So everybody should be specialized in that particular field. Our human body is only one. So what happens is I give a list. So a doctor is one who has that MBBS. Bachelor examine the body and give you the prescription medicine. MD will give only examine the body and he will tell what ailment you have. And for this ailment, you have to take this medicine. So the specialization means FRCP, Fellow of Royal College of Physicians. So that you have to do. That is enough. He will only examine your body and treat this medicine. Here is the matter. So, for example, <clears throat> for eyes, there is a specialist known as ophthalmologist. Ophthalmologist is a person who will take care of your eyes, who will operate your eyes if you have any problem in eyes, like so for example, cataract or cornea or something like that. So, coming to dentist, dentist. You have to do BDS. BDS is Bachelor in Dental Surgery or Master in Dental Surgery MDS. So, eyes is one doctor. So, on. only one part of the body. Dentist is one other part of the body. He will take care of your teeth, something like extraction of teeth, filling, uh, filling of teeth, root canal, or placing artificial teeth, dentry, dentistry, the same. Okay. So, denture, the same. They move all the teeth and they'll put a denture that is called artificial teeth. For that, a separate course is there. For a separate person is there. He is called a dentist. For example, if you want to take care of your ear, nose, and throat, the ear, nose, and throat, he is called an ENT surgeon. He is called an ENT surgeon. Suppose any problem, he is a separate person. He will not do any other work or he, he doesn't know to do other work except ENT, but he is specialized into that. So for all the special ABS, you can take up the specialization codes like skin, heart, lung, liver, kidney, brain, bones, everything. Many things are there only after doing MBBS. So what happens here is, <coughs> the EMT will take care of any problem in the nose, any problem in the ear, any problem in the throat. One more person is there inside the throat from throat cancer or something like that. So he is called a thoracic surgeon. So ophthalmologist, dentist, ENT specialist. So about some problem you have in the skin, he is called the dermatologist or skin specialist. So you have some problem in the heart, a heart has to be operated. So he is called the cardiologist. He is called the cardiologist. Something is there, something brain has to be removed. You have to remove the clot from the brain. So he is called the neurosurgeon. He is called the neurosurgeon. You have some problem in the kidney. He is called the nephrology, nephrologist. Any problem in the kidney, there is a separate specialization. There is a separate doctor. Okay. Anything general surgery, you have to cut open your body and you have to do something. Something like gallbladder, removal of gallbladder, removal of stones in the gallbladder or something, any problem in the intestine, he is called a general surgeon. So, all these people alone should have undergone a course of surgery. So, for example, bones, there is a subplate. He is a separate person. He is called ortho. He is called ortho. Ortho, he is called the ortho. Pediatrician, ophthalmology, he is called the ortho. He only takes care of the bones. He only takes care <clears throat> then coming to ophthalmologist, I told about orthopedician. Orthopedician means he will operate 
he will take only care of the bones. He special only the lady doctor will study that. Gent doctor will not study. See about the delivery. She will be expert in that. So she she will know only about the delivery and pregnancy. Other than that, it doesn't mean she doesn't know. She is not specialized in that. And now coming to pediatrician. Pediatrician can be a doctor, can be a maid or a female who takes care of the children problem. <coughs> who takes care of the children problem is called pediatrician. So a doctor can be a male or a female. So he is specialized in only children problem. What I mean to say is our human body is one, is only one from top to bottom. So look at it, how many specialists are there, are there to take care of. For every organ, there is a doctor. For eye, there is a doctor. For brain, there is a doctor. For hair growth, also there is a doctor. For ear, there is a doctor. For nose, there is a doctor. For throat, there is a doctor. For teeth, there is a doctor. For skin, there is a doctor. For kidney, there is a doctor. For liver, there is a doctor. For your lung, there is a doctor. And for your heart, there is a doctor. For bones, there is a doctor. Orthopedician, isn't it? So, for every part of the body as a special doctor, whereas in other cases and all, there will be one electrician means only one. Plumber means only one. He will do the, he will give water connection and lavatory pipes. Mason means only one person. One person. Engineer means, yeah, engineers also, there are various groups. Various groups, I'll tell you about the engineer. See, if you want to operate a if you want to operate a person or if you want to examine a person, there are various doctors, not only doctors, you go to the cardiologist. If you've got some kidney problem, you have to go to the nephrologist. If you go to if you've got any eye problem, you have to go to ophthalmologist. If you've got any problem in the ear, nose, nose and ear, throat, you have to go to the ENT surgeon. <coughs> If you have got any problem in the heart, you have to go to the cardiologist. If you have got any problem in the skin, you have to go to the skin specialist. If you have to go, if you have got any problem in the bones, knee, anything, you have to go to the orthopedician. <coughs> problem with the children, the pediatrician will take place. Look at the course. How many courses are there in medicine just to analyze, study, and operate a single body? Man is only one. Look at that. How many courses? So it is not that easy. Our body is something like a machine. It is so complicated. For each part, you require a specialist. Each part to examine and function or to operate, you require a specialist. So one person, one doctor cannot perform all the functions at the same time. It is not possible also. One person cannot perform all the actions, what is happening, everything. Generally, you will say, you have this problem, you have this problem. If you have a heart problem, a general medical practitioner, general medical will say, you go to cardiologist. If you have a bone problem, you go to orthopedician. If you have a lady has got any problem, he will say, you go to gynecologist. If you have any problem in the kidney, you go to nephrology. If you have any problem in the nervous or something like that, you go to the neurosurgeon. If you've got any problem in the eye, you go to the ophthalmologist. If you've got any child has got a you go to a pediatrician, look at that. For every organ, for every part of the body, there is a specialist. He has to treat a cardiologist cannot treat a kidney, a nephrology cannot treat a heart. A person who is treating a brain will not treat the heart. The person who is treating the taking care of the heart will not treat a brain. Orthopedician only he will take only other bones. Generally, basic the basic knowledge should be MBBS. So that is the foundation. After doing MBBS only, he has to do specialization. All these people are called professionals. The people who come under lawyer, advocate, engineers, all type of engineers and professional and about and under doctors, all these called they are healthy. That is very important. Okay. So there is no break for that. No, no, no. I am caught in now. I don't work. You will not say unless and until you are healthy. It, you can earn money. Sitting in a place, you can earn money. So nobody will say, no, I can't do this work. <coughs> Coming to 
here. Coming to conductor, a conductor is a person who issues tickets in a bus, not in a train. Or not. In train, there is called, he is called a train ticket, train, train checker. He is called TC. Train collect, he is called a TC. Ticket collector or a ticket checker, you say, it's called TC. You buy tickets from, you buy a train ticket outside the, outside the train in the counter or you book tickets online. But in a bus, you can book it online, you can buy it from outside, in between, in local buses or in between, the conductor which issue tickets while traveling in the bus. The person who issues ticket in the bus is called the conductor and the person who is called a driver. And the person who travels in the bus is called a commuter. A passenger commuter. C M U T O M U T E R commuter. C O M M U T E R. Coming to counselor. Counselor means look at there are two counselors. C O U N C I L L O R. A counselor is a person, he is a representative of some area. He is an elected representative. He will contest for the election and he will get elected. So he will be representative for one ward, some area, a population of 10,000, 15,000 and 20,000. So he will address the grievances of the people, of the local people over there. It is less. <clears throat> MLA means like 10 wards or something like combined together. MLA means member of the legislative assembly. So he is also their people representative, but it is a very big area. Maybe some 10 as one ward. So he will take care of the people grievances. He addresses the people grievances, means problems like water problem, like sanitary problem, like road, like street lights, like the trees, okay, like garbage, many problems are local problems. So he will take care of that. So he will address the grievances of the people and set right. Okay, so that is the duty of the councillor. Councillor means he is the elected representative of the people in that particular ward, not in a very big area, only one area. One more councillor is there, C O U N S C L L O R. This councillor means, <coughs> this councillor means <coughs> you want to seek some advice, you want to do some course or something like that. So he will advise you, you take this course, you take that course, this will be better for you. This will be better for you. So he advises depending upon your qualification, depending upon your attitude, depending upon what you like it. So he will advise and he will put you on the right path. He will show you the right route. Or if you go like this, it will be better for you. If you go like this, this will be better for him. So he is giving you advice. Not bad advice, he will give only good advice. So he is called the counselor. He counsels you in a better way. So it will be suitable to you. It, will, it should be maaki suitable avala. So anything which is suitable to us, he will guide us, he or she will guide us to take this or to take that, to go this way or to go that way. Okay. Now coming to butcher. What do you mean by butcher? A person who cut animals, goat, sheep, camel, bull. There is a separate place where you can take animals and cut. The person who cuts these animals is called a butcher. From there, the merchants will come and they will take to the shop mutton merchant, chicken merchant, beef merchant like that, and they will sell it. Sale happens in a different place. Cutting happens in a different place. The, cut, the place where the animals are cut, S-L-A-U-G-H-T-S, slaughterhouse means where the animals are cut. The person who cuts the animal is called a butcher. Coming to carpenter. <clears throat> carpenter is a person who makes tables, chairs, cot, teapot, dining table, anything. Table folding chair, benches, desk, everything. Who makes out of wood. He is called a carpenter. So there is no retirement for him also. He can do this work anytime. So it doesn't, it all depends upon his health. If his health is good, he can work up to the age of 70 or 80, whatever it is. So, he is called the profession. He is called the profession. When we avail, he, he doesn't buy, he doesn't sell anything. He makes and gives to us. So we avail services from him. So we are called clients and he is called the profession. Now coming to chef. 
C H E F C H E F A chef is a cook who cooks in three star, four star, five star, or a seven star hotel. He is called the chef. He is called the chef. He is not called as a cook. A person who comes to your house and cooks and goes for few people. A person who cooks for ten or twenty people. So he is called a cook. A person who cooks in a star hotel is called a chef or chef. H E F. Did you understand? Yes. Now coming to blacksmith. Blacksmith, silversmith, goldsmith. There are three smiths. Blacksmith is a person who makes swords and spears and knives or any metals made of iron. They say iron. Iron. You should not say a correct form of pronunciation of iron is iron. I R O N. Anything made of iron. Any tool made of iron. A spear. Or a rampa, whatever any tool made by an is called the tools. So the person who makes the tools out of iron is called blacksmith. Coming to silver smith, silver spoon, silver plate, silver glass, silver lamp, many things are there. Silver Ganesha, silver Krishna. He does some idols also. He makes something out of silver. So he is called a silver smith. Now so coming to gold smith, very expensive gold. Now, <coughs> program it is sorry. <coughs> this program it is five thousand two hundred rupees something like that. Any you give him a gold, something like a biscuit. It is called a biscuit. It will it will be in the form of a biscuit. The weight of the biscuit will be one hundred and fourteen grams, point two five something like that. Or they will give a bar. It will be in the form of a bar, the gold, out of it to make some ornament. What ornament do you make? You make rings. You make ear rings. You sorry, you make nose ring. You make ear rings. You make a necklace. You make a bracelet. Whatever it is, you make some ornament out of gold. So, who makes that? Goldsmith makes. The person who makes ornament out of gold condition. Okay, if they are not healthy, they can't do it. Doctor already told you, doctor and dentist. A doctor should do a BBS. Doctor PUC plus two. He has to appear for CET exam. CET means Common Entrance Test. Or one more exam is there, like National Eligibility Entrance Test. If he passes there, so <clears throat> if he is within the total, within the ranking, he will get a BBS seat or he will get engineering seat like that. So I told you about the different professions in doctor. They have got different professions. For each ailment, there is a doctor. For each part of the body, there is a doctor. So what it does? Come to electrician. Dentist, I told. A dentist is one who is there to extract teeth, to fill teeth, to clean teeth, denture, to put artificial teeth. Anything relating to teeth, the dentist will take care, isn't it? So coming to electrician, a person who does electrical work at home, at college, at school, at library, at temple, in a chowtry, in an office, in any building, any person who handles electrical work is called an electrician. There also there is no retirement age for him. As long as he is healthy, he can do the work. So the nature of work will be the same. How to give connection, how to transfer here, everything he knows. Okay. Now coming to plumber. A plumber is one who about he knows about the lavatory pipes and the plumber. The plumber. So he is also a professional who can do the work till his retirement or what. There is no retirement for him. As long as he is healthy, he can do the work. Yeah. Engineer can be. There is a big list of engineers. <clears throat> There's a big list of engineering. Big list. Big list means mechanical engineer, civil engineer, electrical engineer, electronic engineer, computer engineer, a chemical engineer. In engineering also, there are different courses. Aeronautical engineer. There are many courses in engineering also. So those and all the knowledge will be in them. So there is no retirement for them. They can sit at home. They can guide and they can do on their own. If it is a private company, they may hire. There is no retirement in some private companies. There is no retirement as long as you are there. You can work.
in state government and central government 60 maybe 62 that's a maximum 61 is so that is what yeah, 60 years is the retirement age but these professionals are all they can sit at home and they can do civil engineer he can work about building constructions electrical engineer he can sit at home and work so coming to entrepreneur entrepreneur is some business person any business you can do entrepreneur here also business he can do business at any age there is no age limit for that coming to programmer he makes a programs and use on the tv for for him also he will program and give it for him also there is no retirement so he is also called a professional coming to a teacher a teacher after the retirement a teacher is a common gender a teacher can be he or she after the retirement also he or she can sit at home and she can give part time tuitions and she can teach at home this is a private school they will not make you to retire they will say you can continue as long as you are healthy in government school there is a retirement age is there in private schools private establishments it all depends <coughs> coming to tailor a person who stitches clothes is called a tailor men ladies tailor men tailor like that so for him also there is no retirement he can work as long as he is healthy he can work so he is also called a professional coming to now is told about the mechanic a mechanic a car mechanic or a scooter mechanic or a lorry mechanic or a fridge mechanic or a heater mechanic or a geyser mechanic or a what, what do you call that uh, washing machine mechanic any mechanic there are separate persons for that so for him also there is no retirement age he can sit and work he can do whatever he like as long as he is healthy so coming to painter he paints the walls doors windows <coughs> compound wall outside wherever he is not only houses he can go as a painter to <coughs> schools colleges very big buildings hospitals charities many things many places can be his duty is only to paint as long as he is healthy he can do that work so he is called a professional so there is no retirement age for a painter okay so coming to mason a mason is a person who is under the construction the house construction house construction building construction schools construction or hospital construction any person who works with brick brick a mason n a s o n is called a mason so for him also there is no retirement age so coming to news reader <coughs> news reader means a person who reads news on tv or on radio also radio you can just read the news is called a news reader for them also there is no retirement coming to a physician a physician is one is also an mbbs doctor mbbs plus md or a pharmacy a physician only examines the body of a patient and prescribes some medicine and advises the patient to take this medicine or that medicine so he cannot operate a surgeon is, he will conduct surgery a physician cannot do surgeon work because he has not specialized to that he has not learned between a physician or a surgeon in order to be a physician or a surgeon you should do a bbs so that is the basic graduation after mbbs you do md you become a physician after mbbs you do ms you become a surgeon without md and ms also you are called a general medical medical general medical practitioner waiter is one <coughs> who serves food in a hotel maybe in a three star hotel maybe in a two star hotel or maybe no star hotel also the person you go and sit in a hotel you ask him hey waiter please come that is why people say no hey waiter come get me the menu card so many items will be there so you will say you go and get this you go and get that like that so a waiter will make a note in a small book or a small diary he he goes and gives an order in the kitchen he places an order in the kitchen he is called a waiter for him also as long as he is healthy he can work so there is no retire he is also a professional coming to cartographer cartographer means one who writes the one who writes the maps maps of the state maps of the district maps of the locality maps of india and the entire map so the person who's <coughs> who's no 
who knows how to make a map is called the cartographer engraver means a person who make designs on the wall by engraving by taking a chisel and breaking it he does a design on the wall he does a design on the stone on the rock and he does a design on the door he is called the engraver any person who does these designs on the wall on the stone or on the door is called engraver coming to journalist a journalist is a person who gives information to the newspaper agency so they will print the news what all happened the previous day so you read the newspaper you read in the newspaper what happened in the previous day what will happen tomorrow nobody knows is it it what will happen tomorrow nobody knows they will give the prediction oh tomorrow there will be more rain or for two days there will be more rain the temperature will be like this the temperature will be like that sometimes what happens that also may not be true sometimes there will be a difference it says 37 degree it will be 36 or 38 <coughs> the meteorological department will say tomorrow there will be rain there may not be rain the meteorological department will say tomorrow there will be no rain tomorrow or the next day the journalist is a person who collects information from all corners of the state or the district there is a limitation for them so he has to collect only bangalore news he has to collect only karnataka news he has to collect only ballari news he has to collect only chennai news he has to collect only mumbai news some restriction not the question of restriction he will be paid in that position from there he will collect information he is called a journalist so journalist collect information and gives to the newspaper so the news it will be information from various parts of the world and give the information to the newspaper and the newspaper will print so the, it will be you get that news what it what it happened today you will get that you will read it tomorrow or like one day before so what the news what you are reading in the newspaper everything may not be true 75% or 25% may not be true we don't know exact but 75% is true only so the newspaper news is of the past not about the present or at the future okay i hope you enjoyed this class very much about the professions so thank you for uh, now i shall stop we shall continue tomorrow at the same time meanwhile have a nice day thank you very much may god bless you all loka samasta sukhino bhavantu sarve jananga sukhino bhavantu